Hi, my name is Morty Jacoby. Uh, I happen to be a real estate attorney, and my office, fortunately, is about five blocks from Mandolin Brothers. Um, and I get the privilege of coming here almost every day uh, for a little bit of time just to regain my sanity and uh, keep myself uh, at peace because this is one of the most unique guitar stores I've ever been in. I've been playing guitar since I was a senior in high school, quite a number of years ago. Um, I lived through the folk festival era and uh, then for a period of time I didn't perform for a while, but now I am again uh, and have a group that performs regularly. But let me tell you about Mandolin Brothers. Mandolin Brothers is like no other music store in the world. You can come in here and you can play any instrument that you want. Uh, anywhere from a lower priced instrument to a high priced new instrument or a, a something that's being sold used, a vintage, uh, and no one is breathing down your neck. No one is, is pressuring you for, uh, are you ready to buy it? Uh, two seconds after you pick up the guitar. It is really a very unique environment for the musician. Um, people come here from all over the world um, because they've heard about it and they don't believe the experience that has gotten here. There, I know of no other store that would have this many Martin guitars available um, and, and, and tailors and uh, Collings and, and all the other unique uh, luthiers that are out there now, the smaller luthiers, uh, in addition to the big big uh, companies that are there. Um, so it really is a very special place. Um, and you can stay here all day and you can come back tomorrow uh, and do it again. And no one, no one is, they're happy to have you here. Um, I've been here when professional in musicians are here looking at instruments and just enjoy their playing and sitting around picking and, and schmoozing about guitars and, and things. It's just a wonderful place to be. Um, they, they have a great, great um, uh, repair shop downstairs. In fact, it was here that uh, uh, Paul McCartney had his original Beatle bass, or the intonation was off on the neck. Uh, so he had looked all over the world at places that would uh, repair his guitar and he chose Mandolin Brothers to repair it. And the, the, the funny story that comes with that is that he had a gentleman fly the bass over on the Concorde uh, and was basically a bodyguard for the guitar. And, and I came in, I knew it was coming in, and I was told that the, the Paul McCartney's Beatle bass was downstairs in the shop, and I have permission to go to the shop. And I was always a huge, huge Beatle fan, so I go to the, the, the workbench where the bass is lying, and I look down, and, and I knew of nothing else to do but lean over and kiss it, because it was Paul McCartney's Beatle bass. And this guy went nuts, <laughs> who was the, the bodyguard for the guitar, but the, the, the people in the shop calmed him down and said it was okay. Uh, but that's as close as I've gotten to the, the actual Beatles.